Hi everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. If you've ever wondered how to share an Oculus Quest 2 headset in Microsoft Teams, well, today's your lucky day. We'll cover that in detail. Let's get started. There's so many great things going on right now in the virtual reality world, and often you need to showcase that with those that really don't have a VR headset. So whether this is for planning purposes, you wanna review something with a client, you wanted to show off some of the cool stuff that you're up to in the VR space or the metaverse space, well, a great way to do that is using Microsoft Teams. So I've got a checklist. In fact, I've got a really long checklist here, but the thing is once you know it and you keep it handy, it's very doable and I'm gonna walk you through some of the pitfalls and steps here. So step one is in Microsoft Teams, what you're going to wanna to do is you're going to want to plan to screen share one of your screens that you're gonna have a web browser on. And here's the thing is before you hit screen share, make sure that you click share sound. All right, on the web browser that you're going to share, go to oculus.com forward slash cast when you're there, you're going to need to log into your Facebook account or in a few months, your Meta account. So that is going to help the same account that you've logged in on your headset talk to your web browser so you can cast to it. Now, back in Teams, I want you to do a couple things. Number one, I want you to mute your microphone so you're not speaking in there and having it loop through. After all, remember, we're going to be sharing your microphone and your audio through your VR headset, so we don't want to have all that double looping. So mute that. And then I also want you to fade down or turn down your speakers on your Microsoft Teams. So for example, if you have an earbud, make sure that's faded down. At minimum, you can do something like this, is you can keep one in your ear while you have your headset on. And if you're going to do that, you're gonna hear a little bit of feedback. So make sure you fade down your speaker settings. All right, it's time to cast to your computer. You're going to need to put on your VR headset and you're going to look for a little orange share button. Once you've selected that, you're going to see the opportunity on the top left to hit the cast button and then ultimately to select either your mobile device or your computer. You're going to want to select your computer. Hi everyone. Okay, this is a quick demo. I've got my browser set. Now what I need to do is in VR, I'm going to look for the orange share button, which I've clicked. I'm going to cast, selecting computer. Cool. Okay, so you can see what I can see at this point. So what I'm going to do is peek my VR head set up a little bit. I need to go back to my browser and make a couple of fine tune adjustments here. So here's what I'm going to do. Head set up and here on my browser, there's a few things I'm going to do. First of all, I want to go full screen. And then what I'm going to do is enable my microphone on my headset and also enable my sound. Now we've got one more option. We can either show this native four by three view that you're seeing, or we can crop it and go widescreen. And so that's going to give you a larger view, albeit crop it a little bit. Got a couple of choices. And like I said, if you wanna wear an earbud in one ear, you can then hear some of your audience, but do plan for a little bit of an echo. But last but not least, once you verify that you are indeed full screen, you're sharing your content, is you're going to wanna operate very steady while doing this. One thing I've learned in VR is that you naturally are going to have your typical head movements because you are in the headset and you can process everything with your natural peripheral vision and sight. So as you move around and navigate, you see things very quickly and naturally. But as you can see, as an audience member, this is this is not a very comfortable feeling. It's easy to get nauseous. Incidentally, this is what my avatar looks like. Handsome devil. Looks like I need to lose a little weight there. Those jowls are getting kind of big. My tip and strategy is keep that head steady. In fact, what I would recommend is think about keeping your chin and your jaw nice and level. Sit yourself in an office chair and think about establishing shots. And I recommend five seconds. Give yourself five seconds on a certain spot to let the audience really sink it in and then do slow pans. Slow pan up, slow pan down, to the left, to the right. So try not to use your normal neck movements and instead use the chair 
as your ability to do the, the pans and keep your head steady. Okay, that is how to share an Oculus Quest headset in Microsoft Teams. Hopefully you like that. If you did, I'd love it if you'd like, subscribe, hit that notifications button, tell a friend, phone a friend, whatever you need to do. But in the meantime, stay tuned for more great information on presentations, live or virtual, coming to you hot and fresh from Presentation Plus Ups. <music>